All right, now we are here for this segment where we're gonna get it popping with the food. I know you guys are probably starving, enjoying the show, hopefully for sure, but now it's time to get into some yummies. Food for fighters, and now we have Stacy in the kitchen here. She's go. gonna show us a couple of things that you guys can use when it comes to eating on a day like this or a big fight night. Now, what's the most important thing that they should remember and take away with this little segment that you're gonna do? Well, I think the biggest thing is, is the food can still taste great and then you don't have to spend the next week in the gym trying to get back to even, you know? So we've got a variety of things here that we put together for you. Um, and these are some of our tried and trues. Mm -hmm. You know, we've, we've served these on fight nights. Obviously with Super Bowl that's gonna go down in the house, these are gonna be amazing. Um, right here, these are some of your favorites right there. Boom. And these are roasted chickpeas. And for all those folks that are really, that you like to have those nuts in your hand, they're really high in calorie. A little bit of nuts is okay. But, you know, they can get you in trouble, too. Yeah. I think you've actually talked about that. So yeah. we've got roasted chickpeas here. They're seasoned really great. they got good crunch. You won't even miss that they're not a nut at all. Um, and you know what? It's not a party unless they're wings at the party. Gotta have wings. That's right. Wings. Yeah. Tell them about the wings. So the wings, they're, they're just, it's super easy. You don't have to have a grill. You can totally do them in the oven. Um, the key is the sauce that you put on there. A lot of the sauces that are on the counter, or excuse me, that are on the shelf at the grocery store, yeah. they're loaded with sugar. Yeah. And that just gets you in trouble. So stick with something that is vinegar based or mm -hmm. the famous buffalo sauce that's also popular. You can go on those too. Um, we've What's got the, the name of that sauce? I put that on everything. Franks. <laughs> yeah. So you can use that as well. And we've got the recipe. We'll put the link in case you didn't get the menu before. We got you covered on that. And the other thing um, that we really like, there's always a lot of chips at a party, right? And so we're gonna, we switch it up around here. Yeah. Actually, definitely. we have some chips that we absolutely love right here. They're mm -hmm. the um, tortilla chips. These like are big, great. Yeah. They're great. They Tasty, are, crunchy. I love a good crunch. They are. And the cool thing about them is they are grain free. They're actually made from tiger nuts, which they're actually not a nut at all. All you need to know is that it's nutrient dense and it doesn't have a lot of crud in it. Yeah. So you can enjoy dipping, making some really easy guac. Keep your things simple. We've got these recipes Boom. for you. Um, some hummus, some really good Greek yogurt um, with some dill and some cucumber. Hummus. I mean, good to go. Fiber. Yeah. You got fiber, you got crunch, you, you got color. zest, and you, you got, got color. color. And Stacy's an expert when it comes down to those macro and micronutrients, trust me. So anytime you need to substitute something, we'll always try to load the web page with a lot of great tips, tricks, and at the same time, how to detox and things like that. So Stacy engineered a great detox book. Um, I did a nutrition book, so that is what's behind all of these things. The knowledge, the power, and the ability to eat something yummy and substitute, That's right? That's it. That's it. Healthy substitutions that still taste amazing. And in my opinion, some of them taste better than the old stuff. Yeah, and this, you know. these things, they pass, they pass the man test now. I mean, if you're, if you're going to sit there and crunch on something, you don't need to do chips. Those corn nuts and these chips, I mean, the these, these, and the chickpeas. Yep. Dip your hummus, get your, and get it popping. I mean, this is, a, you don't have to take away any of the fun to enjoy what we just laid out here. So, you know, congrats and thanks to Stacy for coming in and doing Absolutely. this little segment for us. And hey, you gotta giving, have good food. Yeah, so make sure you click the link, get the recipe. Um, I mean, there's just a list, a bevy of nice recipes that you did Great for them, right? Great venue. Yeah. Go to reliable, crowd approved, family approved, you know, dude approved. Dude approved. Dude approved. Um, the flavors are great. We're big on flavors, so we made sure we had you covered. So, um, perfect, man. Well, you guys right. continue to enjoy the show, and we send it back to you guys. Until next time, be blessed at God's speed. My name is Eric, and this is Stacy, and we out of here. Peace. Peace. Back to the show. And thanks to Haley's Happy Hour, we have the Tom Collins Brady. There you go. Bing. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>